leaves tastes good like a beer should. You said it. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Try a frosty cold glass of Bavarian right away. What's that you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentleman. And now, with a higher BAC than your ABV, Greg, Scott, and Dan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? Welcome into the Unfiltered Gentleman. I think, thanks for listening. I'm Greg, or that's Scott. Hey, y'all. <laughs> and that's Dan. Hi. <laughs> Oakley Silly Doki, yo. <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Thanks for listening to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for downloading, yes. spreading the word, telling all your friends. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the interview with McLeod's last week. Had a lot of fun uh, mm-hmm. hanging out, drinking some beer. So if you haven't checked it out, Batch 79 with McLeod's Brewing out of Van Nuys. Check it out. We have an event coming up I'll talk about in just a couple of few. But first, our burp board of the week is Haggis. 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 I feel like Dan can do this one. I think so. Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. Hey, you just burp and say is at the end, I think. <laughs> That's true. That <laughs> is. That is true. Wow. Wow, you did it already. Already. Yeah, nice job. You got it. Wow. Let's get out of here. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Uh, Haggis is the burp word of the week. Shout out to Los Angeles. What? Oh, Coming man. through again. Nice. Damn. Coming through again. I think uh, two weeks ago they were our top. They're killing it. As well, as yeah, if yeah, I yeah. remember correctly. Uh, it's nice to see our hometown finally come through finally. for us. Right. Hey. It only took a year and a half. Yep. I'm kidding. Dicks. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we love you. There so, they go. Yeah. <laughs> there they go. Goodbye, Los Angeles. I had the van packed, uh, ready to go to Ottawa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you're ready to go, huh? <laughs> yeah. On my way. My bags are packed for football season. We're going to uh, Wisconsin next year. Ooh, oh, Wisconsin. I know. To, to that bar that uh, gives out free beer until the oh, Packers score. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, yeah. man. Woo. I'm Man. also taking out like a Nancy Kerrigan hit on uh, Aaron Rodgers. There you go. <laughs> That's what we need. Yeah. Damn. Damn, and the Vikings really pulled through for that one, too. It was a shutout. Mm-hmm. Free beer for everybody for Man. the whole game. Oh, so good. Wow. So good. All right, anyways, enough about that. Uh, thanks, Los Angeles. Don't forget, everybody, when you're when you're uh, tweeting and Instagramming, whatever you do on the social media, don't forget the hashtag show us your beers. Yes. Oh, yeah. We want to see what you're drinking because uh, it makes us thirsty and feel better about ourselves. I guess. I don't know. Speaking <laughs> of drinking. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for Beer of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I say, I think I'll have myself a beer. We are drinking. Speaking yes. of Los Angeles. Man. Los Angeles' own Eagle Rock Brewery. Ooh. Yummy. This is their populist IPA. Okay. 7% ABV, 68 IBUs. It's got a nice little 3.79 on Beer Advocate. It says, celebrate the aromatic wonder of the hop flower. Malt, yeast, and water lend quiet support as hops take a solo. Listen, ponder, enjoy. Oh, man. So powerful. Yeah, no kidding. I think I'm going to cry now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was deep. Oh, that's the kind of solo I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. That is nice. That is flavorful yeah very very flavorful i can dig it on the nose i get uh, a lot of a lot of hop flavor on the no- fl- hop flavor hop smell <laughs> <laughs> my nose is tasting hops yeah you fooled me i tasted hops mm-hmm. very hot forward little uh little tropical fruit on the end mm. the aftertaste there yeah i dig this yeah, I like it a lot. Me too. Um, I was at Eagle Rock Brewery last weekend and uh, enjoyed everything they had to offer oh, okay. as much as I could drink while still driving home. Uh-huh. And uh, brought back some of these. Work or work with, met with uh, Eric, who's the brewer there. I was talking mm. to him. Mm. Going to try and get him on the show. Oh, good, very cool, very cool guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have and the reason I I, I had these cans and I was like, you know what, we got to do it this week. A very cool event coming up on Sunday. I believe that's the 28th of January. It is their uh, anniversary party. Oh. 25 bucks or 30 bucks at the door. Gets you five beers, a glass, and they're roasting a pig. It's a luau. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Holy shit, dude. So I don't know what you wow. gentlemen are doing on Sunday. Oh, man. Roasting a pig, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I know now. Yeah. And, and roasting ourselves. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Five beers for 25 bucks, man. Can't beat that, dude. Yeah. Wow. So uh, this Sunday... Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Eagle Rock Brewery, the 28th of January. No, there's right. no football going on or anything yeah. here, man. It's free Sunday. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a bye week for football. It really yes. is, yeah. Perfect. Mm. Or as we should be calling it a beer week. Beer week. Beer week. Hey, no bye weeks, beer week. Yes. That's right. So uh, check out Eagle Rock Brewery. They have a, r- a lot of really good beers. They're, uh, what's it, an Imperial Stout or just a st- uh, I can't remember now. I suck at life, but good God, was that amazing and strong. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, check out Eagle Rock. Check out Populist. This is one of their big sellers. Uh, so if you're in the L.A. area, you should be able to find it pretty easily. If you're not in the L.A. area, check your bottle shops. Tell them you want some Eagle Rock because this shit's good. Yeah. Um, all right. Does anybody have any grievances? Or is it all is it all pleasant today? Yeah, feeling pretty good. Good. I could Uh-oh. maybe Uh-oh. share. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, all right, grievance us out. grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. <laughs> no, it's official. I'll clean it up with some good news. Oh, th- thank God. Because this is this one kind of um, it, it's kind of like the Lowe's Depot thing I had situation I had the other night uh-huh. where people just kind of pretty much freely just kind of walk out of there with whatever they want because we don't stop them. Oh sure. But oh, the yeah. thing that really bothered me the night was I there's a situation where there's a lady she's holding a kid in one hand and a huge black bag in the other mm-hmm. and she's standing with a few items in her cart. And after a few minutes, she's just kind of looking around. After a few minutes, she tells me, "Oh, my twelve-year-old uh, son is going to be here to pay for this stuff." And I'm all right. Then yeah, you, yeah, okay. Fine. We'll be here yeah. at the register. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. So she went, and when she started to walk out the door, the alarms went off. What? So I just kind of walked over. We usually don't say nothing, but just the way she stopped and looked at me, mm-hmm. I walked over and said, "Are you sure there's nothing in your bag that you maybe forgot about?" Oh no no everything's fine. I'm like okay, and all right. that's all I can do. Right, because you know if we ever, God forbid, we try to stop them, we'd get fired. That's yeah, weird. Yeah, because it's cheaper to let them steal stuff exactly. at the big national yeah. tool store, right? Than instead to, of getting uh, sued for right like, making them obey, obey the law. And a few minutes later, some twelve-year-old kid who looked just like her just kind of walked all the way through and didn't say nothing and walked on out the door. Mm. So the thing that pissed me off was, yeah, she stole something, but she actually got her own kids involved in it. Oh, man. And that kind of bothered me. I wanted to walk out and say, you know, I hope you're very proud when your kid, your 12-year-old grows up, right. goes to prison, gets raped by a bunch of big men, just get <laughs> wow. fucked up the ass. Oh, wow. my God. And, I, and, I, and I, that's how mad I was that she involved her kids in it. That's and, true, man. I mean, Mom of the year. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I hope you're proud because you're really teaching them a good a good uh, lesson. Let, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous, man. I was, I was pissed. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I, um, thanks for letting me get off my chest. <laughs> Feel better? Not that much, but yeah. Eh, whatever. <laughs> well, whatever. Keep drinking. <laughs> Maybe, I, well, I think I have to take it down. That might help. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I'm hanging good out now. With Calvin? I'm g- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have any ice cream? Oh, I know. Yeah, I need some ice cream. <laughs> Listener Calvin, we need more emails. <laughs> more, yeah. more Calvin, more, more Calvin. Definitely. You got to yeah. cheer us up over here, yeah. man. I, uh, yeah. We need a Calvin only episode. Yeah. Society in general is really kind that, of irritated oh. me this week. Yeah. yeah. I'm uh, down on humanity now. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, my God. We need Calvin to clean things up. <laughs> you really <laughs> do. Yeah. Calvin's got the you know, the best outlook. Yeah, yeah he, he does. does. Drink um, some beer, take a dump, and then life is good. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Especially after some ice cream. <laughs> oh, God. Ice, ice cream and beer, man. I hope he's doing the Choco Rosa and Choco Vesa. <laughs> oh, combo. my gosh. I doubt it. That's hey. the ultimate beer <laughs> Sunday. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me clean this up with some good news. Thank you. Yes. Not only is Eagle Rock doing their anniversary party on Sunday, mm-hmm. this coming Thursday is uh, Scottish Day at McLeod's, you know, the brewery we had on last week. Correct. McLeod's on Thursday is doing Scottish Day where they're releasing a couple of specialty beers. They're having a uh, uh, haggis. If anybody ever uh, felt like trying haggis, which is like the intestines of a sheep or something. Let's go for it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure Scott's eating weirder things while I'm in the sure. Philippines. Have well, some yeah. menudo in the morning and yeah, have yeah. some haggis in the afternoon. I've done the balut. Yeah, I'm sure haggis is <laughs> pretty normal. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no tickets required. Show up. Just buy as much beer as you want and uh, haggis as you want. Uh, discount for kilt. If you want to hear more about the event, listen to the last batch, Batch 79. We talk about it in detail. But uh, I think I might be there. So anybody that wants to uh, show up, come say hi. Oh, wow. I'll, I'll come packing with stickers. <laughs> and, yeah. and bring your sheep. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We'll, we'll eat their intestines. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, uh, Joneses are uh, Welsh, the name. Correct. And Welsh are known to be sheep shaggers. 
Oh, wow. So <laughs> that's what my friend told me. That explains a lot of my relatives. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. They're a little hairy, a little yeah, fluffy. Yeah. 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 Holy sheep. Holy sheep. <laughs> and then uh, finally, I wanted Dad. to mention. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, my God. I need God. another beer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. What the hell? I wanted to mention draft 20 of uh, the ass hats over at the Booze League. Oh, yeah. Draft 20. Oh, they have a show? Yeah. This, nice. uh, mm. Good for them. Well, it it just got a little bump in the ratings. <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, because that was on draft Once, 20. Yeah. Uh, we have been mentioning them. Yeah. Uh, if you want to listen to me on batch 20, uh, <laughs> filling in for Otter, it's just uh, the commission I drinking some beers. And uh, <laughs> God, I wish this was on the show. It ended up being after the show. He had a hundred and forty dollar bottle of uh, bourbon. He was like, "Hey, you want to try this?" I'm like, "God damn right, I do." No shit. Yeah. Does the Pope shit in the woods? No kidding. Yeah. What so, are you drinking? Yeah. So uh, we had some really nice bourbon after the cool. show. We should have had that on the show and talked about it. But uh, well, sucks for the listeners. Yeah, you didn't say nothing, and I saw the ratings were up, so I decided to listen to see why, and then yeah. I heard you on there. Must be the reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Once again. Yeah. That's right. Tug Jones coming through. There you That's go. Call me. Bumping it up. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Uh, let's move on to some sports talk. All right. And now, the sports brought to you by cleaninguptheglass.com. Whether it's the Baltimore chop or the one two punch, it's time for sports. All right. Yeah. And before we get into sports, I just wanted to mention real quick, too, that cleaninguptheglass.com, I've been doing my, uh, my five favorite part. sports website. Yeah. I've been doing my five part uh, Kobe. Kind of appreciation, I guess. Um, went through, uh, you know, the first, you know, a uh, couple things where uh, it was uh, it was buzzer beaters. Dunks. Yeah, dunks. Yeah. Dunks. And then uh, now, the upcoming this week, will be, uh, got to say, it's going to be his worst moment in oh, each jersey. Yeah. So, you know, I'm hey. not sure I'm fucking going to listen to those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does it happen to do with Colorado? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, man. You know, just kind of leave it at that. But, hey, <laughs> if you love Kobe, so do I. But if you hate him. So do I this week, you know, <laughs> just this week, just this week. So I, I thought the Colorado incident was the favorite dunk part. Oh, <laughs> oh messiest wow. dunk. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. So yeah, I actually I have read him and enjoyed him. Oh, thank you. I yeah. have to say I just read the dunk one, the mm. first parter, and mm. I have to uh, give you my appreciation. I like the way that you put the videos of the dunk. So yeah. I'm not just saying like, oh, I got Dan's description, but I'd kind of like to see it for myself. Yeah, right. Because Dan makes Kobe sound like a superhero. He is a superhero. Absolutely. That's true. That's why he I had is. to put those clips. Yeah. Like, you don't believe me, see it for yourself. Dunking on Brooklyn. Who else yeah. has two numbers up on the board? Huh? That's right. That's right. Nobody That's in any right. sport. Mm-hmm. So uh, speaking of the Lakers and Staples Center Uh-oh. for where they play. What is it with the other teams in that building that just can't fill the rafters or the outside with the... Uh, with jerseys and statues of players. Yeah. Clippers have selfies. They don't have any jerseys. <laughs> uh-huh. And the Kings unveiled their latest statue outside. God dang it. It's the fucking announcer, Bob what? Miller. Yeah. Oh. We've got Magic and Kareem, whatever statues outside. They've got Bob Miller. You can't do that. I mean, we gave him Gretzky. That's enough, man. Right. You know, I mean, that's like the King's contribution at that point. Yeah, I think we were all okay with Gretzky. Yeah. Because he's like the Jordan of hockey. Yeah. And True. Uh, that's where it stops. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, I mean, no more. Yeah. I guess Bob Miller is apparently some kind of a chick hern of basketball, but. Of hockey? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, but. Yeah. But is he really. But you have to really. But he's also just not chick hern. He's Hearn. like announcing a non sport. So right. yeah, and that's what I was saying. Like, And, and here's my thing with chick hern, too. It's like. I think my dad had actually told me we were talking about him like last week because that's what we do every now and then. And uh, Chick Hearn like kind of came up and we, he was like, you know what made Chick Hearn really cool is he kind of sounded like a you know like a, a racehorse announcer. And I think that's maybe what he used mm. to do or something. But it was just like the way he get excited. Yeah, and it was just he could just keep talking and talking and talking and fill the airspace. And you know, you know, it's just like. God, he was just he could keep up with the action. Seems yeah. like a lot of these people just can't. So just like Vince Scully never let dead air happen. Right. Oh he yeah. Would, he would talk about socialist countries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Even in this, you know, kind of baseball, or, it kind of moves at its own pace. Yeah. Or shopping lists. Shopping yeah. lists. Yeah. Oh, Fill the airwaves. You know. Beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't right. forget your beer. Yeah, that was so, from the shopping list. So I don't know. I don't know that I can co-sign this Bob Miller. Yeah. Thing. You know. Fuck I mean, off. And now we're gonna put Elgin Baylor out there. 
right? I mean, he's, right. he's getting his own statue coming up. Kobe's yeah. going to get his own statue pretty soon. Oh, that's a given. Maybe I two. Mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one with fro, one without. <laughs> <laughs> so it's I think like, his wife should get one put out there, by the way. So. Mm. I, I don't know how you're going to be able to get in that stadium anymore because it's going to be a fucking army of coppers. <laughs> You know, soldiers, An army there. of bronze. Oh yes. my god, yeah. dude! Well, luckily, half of them are just old retired announcers. So, uh, <laughs> no, mm-hmm. at least we know there'll never be any Clipper statues out front. Well, that's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they could just keep that yeah, section. Nice little 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 selfies yeah, I don't know. Inside. Maybe Bob Miller might open the door for them. Like, yeah. hey, now we could put Danny Manning out there. You guys put Bob Miller. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Before he gets fired, uh, Doc's gonna get his own statue made. <laughs> oh. Miho, look! Yeah, well, he's GM. He's gonna co-sign yeah. it. Or maybe mm-hmm. Miho you know, sitting on the bench in a street clothes talking shit to the Rockets. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Funny you should mention that. Oh, Uh-oh. funny. So the Clippers and the Rockets got into a little tussle. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, some shit say. talking. Uh, some pants were ripped off. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> the best was oh, apparently... Rapings going on. Yeah. Apparently after the game, some rocker, rockers... Wow. <laughs> Shawn Michaels and, and Marty Jannetty <laughs> showed up to the they opposing... the rockers rocket. involved. Yeah, oh, yeah, little sweet shit wow. music and everything. Uh, some of the Rockets players went over to the other locker room to, uh, I guess, finish what started on the court. And... Apparently, the police were called. <laughs> oh, yeah. And boy, did Shaq and Charles Barkley <laughs> have a fucking field day with the fact that these grown men were calling the police for shit talking. They got a police presence? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, <laughs> come on, man. Hey, Chuck. Hey, no. Chuck. No. Uh, uh, no. I don't Hello, know. Hello, police. I don't know why. Hello, police. Chris Paul trying to beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> this is hey, this is Blake Griffin. Chris Paul trying to get in the locker room. Get down here and save me. Wait, yeah. now I'm gonna walk out you. Going out the back. Eh? Yeah. Oh come on. I'm in the Staples Center. <laughs> in I the back play. hallway. <laughs> Three players that play for the Rockets. Is it tell how he looks? He's about five eleven, five foot ten. Well, they have on shorts and a couple of them have towels. On. What's his name? So right. uh, Chris Paul. <laughs> Jerry right. Green. Is this I'm, a play call? And James Harden. Play call it up. 6'10", 225, one of the most powerful players in the NBA. But Chris Paul trying to get in here kick my ass. Get down here quick. As, as we, as we had to break, Jeremy. Uh, Let's take a look Let's take at 10-4. Let's take a look at <laughs> Uh, I agree wholeheartedly. With I Jack do too. Check on this one. Surprisingly, well, it was funny too. Is when you know uh, that all happened, and like if you ever were watching the game, there'd probably be it was a State Farm commercial playing. And the three people that went down to that thing are in a car singing like a Backstreet Boys song. So it's like, I kind of wondered, what, were they listening to that song to pump themselves up before they went and bum rushed the Clippers? Or Probably. What? Oh my uh, God, dude. Chris Paul wants it that way. The, the, the funny thing for me is, I can imagine the LAPD dispatcher saying, There's a black man calling, seeing a black man trying to beat him up. Anybody want to take this call? No. And then you hear crickets, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's LAPD for you. No kidding. Uh, the Bucks have fired Jason Kidd. He's no longer what? their head coach. Oh, oh no. yeah, oh, yeah. It's a shame. Yeah, Here, uh, Giannis said that he was gonna try to fight for him. Yeah, yeah. call the owners and the Look GM. How that and, out. Yeah. yeah, well, no, too late, man. Yeah. yeah, I guess the reason was Jason Kidd was on his way to a meeting, but was really late because he ran into a telephone. Oops! Pole. Oh my god! After beating up his wife. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, speaking of basketball, Luke of the Lakers does not expect Lonzo back anytime soon. He's been out with a knee injury. Oh, wow. That's going to kill us. Oh, God. Pretty much. Yeah. Hey, we just won two out of four. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's true. Oops. I was so, I'm so glad that they won a couple because I was so Finally. annoyed that every sportscaster on the TV and the radios and everything, like, well, without Lonzo, they're 0-7 and they're 0-8. Without Lonzo, they're 0 whatever. It's like, yeah, and with Lonzo, we've lost a shit ton more. <laughs> He is not our Lord and Savior. He is not Tim Tebow. Well, I will say that the games that they lost, they were actually in them. Like, they lost to the Cavs, but they lost by, like, inside of 10. And they lost to the Warriors a couple times and took, like, two overtimes to beat them. Yeah, true. Or it seems like without Lonzo, they were getting pummeled by, like, 30 points. And it was like, okay, well, you know, right off the tip off, I was like, there's no chance they're going to win. But they have come together and actually won some games. I think Jordan Clarkson has gotten his shot to fall and has gotten in those games maybe an average of 30 points. Wow. But I'm thinking when his shot stops falling yeah. is when they're going to get pummeled again by 30 It'll points. happen. Yeah, for, pretty sure. Kuzma is oh, my yeah. hero, though. Oh, yeah, he's oh, good. Yeah. Don't he, get me wrong. He is the Kuzma future of the franchise. Clarkson's had some good games lately. Mm-hmm. 
Ingram was looking all right, but I don't Ingram, like how, fra- yeah. how fragile he is. <laughs> he just has to get like wake up. He yeah. just has yeah. to sleep the whole time. Him and, <laughs> well, I'm always afraid. Like him and Lonzo are so young, and they got all these injuries going already. It's like, how is this going to get better? This can only get worse. Oh yeah, the way they're they're, they're just keep getting hurt. Yeah, they're mm. always hurt and sitting down a game here, a couple That's games true. there. It can only get worse. Like if you're coming out of college with injuries already, like what's going on? That's true, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. God dang, man. It's funny, like the way back in the days they used to play, like Iverson or Nick Van Exel would play 48 minutes in the, like never sit down in the entire game. Right. It's like nobody does that shit anymore, man. Even Kobe would play a full game. Yeah. He's played over 48 minutes when they've gone into yeah. overtime yeah. and stuff. Yes, he so. has. Yeah, they don't do that no more, man. These nope. kids, they can't stay on the court. Bitches. <laughs> All bitches. Uh, football, Eagles and Patriots, they're going to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> I don't really care. It's over already. It's, yeah. I mean. Well, I I think the funniest part was, did you see when they handed Belichick the trophy? Uh-uh. <laughs> when they were announcing the AFC champion and they handed Belichick the trophy and he just like, he, he didn't even look at the trophy. He just, they handed it to him and he immediately handed it to, back to the guy. Oh, really? Oh, like, shit. Went, yeah, what the fuck? And then the guy's like, he didn't know what to do with it, so he hands it to, I forget who the player was there. He hands it to the player standing there in uniform and the player just standing there and held it like, Okay, I got the trophy. I mean, yeah. look, if you're any bit competitive in old school, that's not the win. The Super Bowl is the win. Yeah, you right. Know? So I don't. I'm not surprised Belichick did that. That's true. Uh, did you hear how the uh, police department prepared in Philly for the potential win of the Eagles on Sunday? I didn't think they did. I mean, they well, kind of burned up the city. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they went around like greasing all the um, poles, like like the stoplight <laughs> poles and, and light poles. Because in the past, when the when the Eagles and other Philly teams have won, they've climbed the street poles. Oh wow! So they actually went around with Crisco <laughs> and like hand greased all these poles. It didn't work. People still climbed. Oh, and, did they yeah, really? Yeah, it didn't oh work. So. I was they had like, anti grease climbing uniforms. Yes, I was like, what the, what were the chances they're going to climb the, those poles again? You well, know? they did it. They did they it did. with the Crisco on it. Didn't yeah. matter. Didn't matter. Crap, I'm sorry. I I just maybe I'm old, but I just gotta say I don't understand celebrating a team winning by destroying your city. I don't. I mean, even Lakers fans have done it. They've I, done. They've yeah. turned over police cars and set things on yeah. fire. Kings fans did it when they won the Stanley Cup a what few years back. What the hell is oh, up yeah, with that? That's right. That's, yay, we won. Let's go destroy this guy's life. Doesn't make any sense. I yeah. just don't understand that. I would don't see, get it. Like if you're in, you know, if uh, you're in another city and your team loses the championship, to me that makes more sense to go start destroying. Shit. It makes more sense. It's still not. You shouldn't the, do it. Yeah, it's still not right. But at least I, I get the reasoning behind it. I don't know. People I don't are dumb. Know. People got too much free time. Yes. Yeah, they do. So. I would do that if I had time. <laughs> Run not, amok, not, turn over cars. Not, no. Uh, so yes, that's. Uh, we'll be looking forward to that Super Bowl. I guess that's going to be one of the lower rated Super Bowls in. Going to have to. I mean, what else are we going to watch? Yeah, I guess. You know, Lakers lose to somebody else. Puppy Bowl. Pu- Ooh, do they still do the lingerie bowl. Is that <laughs> oh, still a thing? I don't know, man. Huh? Sometimes. Yeah, those chicks take it too seriously. Not that I know. I've heard. <laughs> I've heard, they yeah. Yeah, they're doing bench presses and stuff. Like, no, no, I didn't want to watch that. <laughs> they had that act. one girl, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to uh, watch you actually this, compete. There's this one girl that yells shit all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. You got like, like Brittany I, Griner out there? I know, it could be, no. yeah. No, it's like, no, I want to watch you try to catch the ball and it bounces up your boobies or something. Right. Like, that's what I came here to watch. Like, I don't <laughs> want to want see some bub flub. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, all right, that's all for sports. Uh, before we get on to our other stuff, including our bullpen beer, and I'm running dry over here, uh, Nicole is back from Beauty and Beer to give nice. us another uh, brewery review right on hi everyone it's nicole from beauty and beer today i'm going to be talking about seismic brewing company they actually don't have a tap room just yet i actually came across this brewery because my local steve's pizza in elk grove was having a tasting event i found out about the tasting event on instagram and I decided to go and check it out. They actually were serving two beers, and I did try them both. The first beer I got to try was the Alluvium Pilsner. This definitely tasted like a traditional German Pilsner, and I enjoyed the crisp taste. Very drinkable, I think anyone would like this beer. The second beer was the Mega Thrust IPA. This was well-balanced, fruity, and hoppy. I enjoyed this beer so much, I ordered a full pour of it along with the Steve, which is a combination pizza. So good. 
I'm sure by now you might know that I'm a little bit of a hop head and I love IPAs. I'm really glad that I went to this event. I got to speak to Will, the marketing manager for Seismic. I like their views on sustainability and the planet. I got to check out some of their can art, which is amazing. Both beers were very drinkable. I think that even if you're not a huge fan of IPAs, I think you would like the Mega Thrust just because of that well-balanced fruity flavor. I'm really glad that Steve's Pizza is offering these tasting events. Um, they will be having them every month, which will allow me to try different breweries that I may not be able to go and try. Seismic Brewing is in Sonoma County. Kind of saved me on some traveling with that. So if you have a Steve's Pizza in your area, I know that Elk Grove, Davis, and El Dorado Hills will be doing different tastings every month. Definitely check them out. I really like that they're bringing the craft beer community together, kind of showing people what craft beer is all about. So if you would like to learn more or read about this tasting event, you can read about it at beautyandbeer.com. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at beautyandbeer. Cheers. Cheers to you. God, I, all I want is pizza now. I know. All that pizza talk. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Pizza and IPA. Steve's Pizza. Never heard of it. Correct. But I'd like to uh that sounds like I like research. To, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. I want Steve to be my friend. Right? Mm. The only pizza I know, too, is uh, Pizza Man Dan's. <laughs> no relation. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Steve yeah. and Dan. Maybe they're related yeah. somehow. I do not own the pizza chain. Well, get out. <laughs> you know what? Listening to her, I, I'm starting to think maybe if the UN would sit down and just share some craft beers oh. with each other. No more war. No more war. No more we'd nukes. Just, yeah, we just like destroy our nukes. Just the whole world would be just love each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we could sit down with uh, Kim Jong and have a height. Yes, it's Korean beer. Yeah, yeah. So we should all like <laughs> just be drunk and mm. be happy. What would be a better place? Have some pizza. Pizza yeah. with that pizza beer. And, and yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Wow, we could sign some treaties and shit. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, anyways, thanks to Nicole. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. For yeah. making us hungry as hell. No I kidding. Uh, making us dream. Yeah. I you had can, a dream. You can check oh, her out last week. Sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dreaming about pizza. Uh, you can check her out at beautyandbeer.com as well as Beauty and Beer on Instagram for more beer and breweries. She was telling me she was talking to one of the reps from Seismic, and he's like, yeah, you guys should come up here and do a podcast. And I was okay. like, oh, where are they from? And she's like, yeah, they're in Sonoma County. I was like, Boom. god damn, that's a bit of a road trip. A little bit. Yeah. A little yeah. roadie. Yeah, we'll need a roadie for the roadie. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyways, we'll see if we can work that out. If uh, Maybe they could like, you know. Pay our way. Do what, uh huh? Pay our way. Oh, yeah, pair away, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That'd then be, we'll go. Yes. yes. We'll be there in a heartbeat. No, okay. Or at least, you know, extra beer might make the trip worth it. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Something to drink on the way and on the way back. Exactly. Roadies. Yes. <laughs> so, anyways, before we get any further, uh, I'm getting thirsty. Let's call to the bullpen. <laughs> he calls to the bullpen for beer. Yes, he does. All right, so a couple weeks ago, listener Elvia sent us an Elysian beer. That uh, well, we weren't huge fans of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so she felt bad and she said, I'm going to send you another Elysian beer. This one, you guys are going to dig it. I said, okay, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how these Budweiser's taste. That's right. <laughs> uh huh. So I gave her a little uh, snobby shit for it. Correct. So she sent us this time Elysian's Deglo IPA. Yes. This one is 7.4%, 65 IBUs. Uh, it has a 4.1 on Beer Advocate. So I was like, all right, that's uh, that's pretty good. 4.1 out of 5 on BA. Hmm. Maybe she knows what she's talking about. Correct. From the brewery, says, Day Glow crashes the party with the juicy beat of hops, dripping with tropical, sunshiny mosaic, and sparkling with touches of El Dorado and Centennial. Hmm. Our manic IPA series allows us to indulge in our hop obsession and share with you some of our favorite varietals. All right. So let's dig in. Let's All try right. it. Let's try it. Let's see. Uh, you know, and I have had this beer before, um, okay. and I may have mentioned it on the show before. I think at some point maybe we asked if uh, we had ever bought 
a beer based on the bottle or you know the artwork on oh, the uh, yeah. and mm-hmm. that was my first answer. I was like, Oh yeah, Day Glow, that was it, man. That's you just right. see this freaking tiger with shooting lasers out of his eye and they're mm-hmm. just all like changing color as you turn the bottle around and everything. It's a just a trip to look at. I was like, I gotta buy the beer, I gotta check it out. Um and now tasting it today, I, mm-hmm. I don't know what the deal is, but it, it tastes a little different, man. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, so I does. guess the big question, is it like the uh, Budweiser placebo effect? Like we know it's made by assholes, right. so it oh. tastes worse now? I don't know, or, man. Or is it like what happens to a lot of beer that gets bought out? Do the qualities diminish? Or, mm. you know, quality yes. of ingredients? I will say that <clears throat> I, I know that's the, the, you know, the, the thought about Elysian is that, you know, it bought out and everything, but I came to drink this beer thinking like hey i remember you man yeah. this was this was a good That's time true. you had happy thoughts yeah i did and it just kind of shocked me to drink mm-hmm. it a little like it, it did taste a little different maybe i hadn't had it in a while maybe but i don't drink know drink happy thoughts peter yeah yeah <laughs> you're doing it peter yeah. i don't know man uh a i different. get a, yeah so i get a lot of like uh fruity notes from the hops on the on the smell it smells pretty fruity not in like a uh, ballast point kind of way no matter what elysian still better than ballast point correct um, oh yeah can't get that bad Mm-mm. I gotta say I don't like it, so Elvia, please send us <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the flavor it's uh, it's pretty dank, a little bit of, mm-hmm. of, of fruit with it. It's a little um, kind of dries the mouth out. Yeah, correct. Yeah, it's almost like there's hot particle in it. I know there's like some weed in here to kind of make it a little cloudy, which is funny because it's very not cloudy. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what they're saying. It's better than the, the the other lesion. It is. I will say that it is. It, it is better. Um, I don't hate it. No, I don't hate it either. I wouldn't pour it out. Yeah, but yeah. I think that the dry kind of like aftertaste yeah. is like, you know, it kind of a little overpowering a little bit, you know? That's exactly what it is. I think that's what it is. You have found a way to vocalize. Oh, yeah. So well, my mouth has Holy been thinking. Holy shit. I sound wow. like Dale over here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't take it too far. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, yes, this is much better than the other Legion. I'll, I'll give you that much. And uh, nice little hoppy piece. But um, Scott hates it. You better send us another one. Yeah. 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 Agreed. stand it. Yeah, he's on the verge of pouring it out. I almost, <laughs> yeah, I almost yeah. poured it out. Yeah, Dan had to slap his hand back <laughs> into place. As a matter yeah. of fact, you. Yeah. I, I poured it out in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the quickest pour out you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, all right. Legion's Dago. And I'll put a picture of the... Uh, the cool bottle on our social medias because it is a cool bottle that's for sure oh yeah for sure man um, alright old timey word of the week is spoony 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 ooh uh, it means you're, ha- you're foolish half witted or nonsensical oh, oh. yeah so uh, hmm. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to try it. Uh, he was too spoony to realize that uh, she was ready to give him the buff. There you Ooh. go. I like that one. All right. Good one. I can go with that good one. No. That's right. good. Done. <laughs> oh, now my music's not playing. Sp- oh. Spooning has a whole different meaning now. Correct. There's nothing better than a babe with like craft forking. beer. It's time for Beer Babe of the oh, Week. Oh, nice. It is time indeed. Our beer babe of the week this week. You can find her on Instagram at White Girl Brewskies. All one word. Wow. <laughs> White Girl and then Brewskies is B R E W S K I S. As you would spell <laughs> Brewskies. And in this picture, she's uh, swimming with a sweet grass golden ale. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I totally saw that. Yeah. Reading that can. <laughs> yep. Yep. All over that can. All over that can. Reading that can. I can't take my eyes off that can. Yeah. Cans for cans. Uh, so anyways, make oh, yeah. sure you, make sure you follow her at White Girl Brewskies on the Instagrams. I'm pretty sure you won't be sorry that you did. Nope. Dan's not. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> all right. Let's move on uh, to some booze news. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. It is indeed, and I must say a big up and congratulations to North Carolina. You're getting Firestone. Yay. Oh, wow. Yay. Good job, North Carolina. Yeah. uh, Firestone is now distributing, I believe, as of this week to North Carolina. Nice. They're going to start with their cores like Union Jack, um, Union Jack, Luponic D. They're also going to send Wookus. I was a little surprised oh, to see that wow. was part of their core oh, wow. shipment. Okay. They're sending over Wookus, so uh, Beer Girl over there in North Carolina has yeah, okay. something to look forward to. That'll That's change awesome. your views on the bathroom situation. 
What? Oh, aren't they, aren't they the ones with the bathroom thing? Is it North Carolina? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Somewhere over there. Mm-hmm. Nice and relevant. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, I, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> Timely. Uh, so congratulations to North Carolina. Green Flash. Green Flash Brewing out of San Diego. Not so good news. Laying off fifteen percent of their workforce. Whoa, oh, crap! Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. It's never good in the craft beer world. No, and that's apparently thirty three people. Um, <laughs> this story came from the pool, the full pint dot com, and they reached out to the communications director. No joke for a comment. The communications director had been one of the layoffs. Oh my god! <laughs> so they received no comment <laughs> oh, <laughs> from shit. Green Flash. Wow! Wow! Yeah. I guess Green Flash has been struggling a little bit. Um, they acquired Alpine, I think it was a couple of years ago, and they've been really trying to push Alpine as a brand because Alpine in San Diego was huge. I mean, it's huge. If you get it outside of San Diego, it's like, oh, my God, it's Alpine. And now that they've bought Alpine, they're pushing out, and apparently it's not selling all that well. Oh. Um, I was not a huge fan when I tried it, and I've only tried uh, it since it's been purchased, mm-hmm. and I hear from some brewers that uh, they've made some changes. Oh, really? So, and, for and, the good or bad? For the bad. That's why uh, oh, that's it's not doing so well. Yeah. That's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I guess it didn't, yeah, I guess it didn't scale up so well. And so... Uh, that's a shame. Yeah, that is a shame. I hate to see your brewery go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Even if the, the beer sucks, I mean, it's still beer. It's true. No matter what, you probably wouldn't pour it out. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah. Coors is still, you know... <laughs> <laughs> they're still alive and well. But I think they're owned by Budweiser now. Oh, really? Yeah, well, Holy shit. Was it Mil- Miller Coors? So Miller bought Coors, and I think Budweiser bought Miller Coors. No way. I think that's how it worked. Dilly dilly. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I think just the entire world is owned by Budweiser. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Oh, Speakey. You know, we talked a lot about Speakey yes. like a year ago, and they were kind of going through their shit. I know. And like going out of business, and then mm-hmm. being bought, and then they, they finally got bought, and they've been closed for nine months as they kind of remodel and redo the place, and they're finally reopening. Oh, right on. Yes. So uh, if you're in the NorCal area this weekend, January 27th, I guess that's what, Monday? So not weekend, next week, uh, January 27th, head over to Speakeasy and uh, check them out for the big grand opening. They're going to have some special releases and giveaways and that wow, kind of stuff. Wow, cool. so. That's a good beer, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can dig them. I was sad to see them struggling. Yeah. No kidding. I, I remember having a Big Daddy IPA way That's right. Oh. Big Daddy IPA. Yeah, way back in the early days. Love the Big Daddy. Getting into... Yeah, you do. <laughs> getting into IPA and good craft too. beer. Yeah, exactly. So uh, <laughs> glad, to, glad to see that's what's going on over there. Correct. Yeah, yeah it's a feel-good feel good story. Yes, exactly. <laughs> feel-good story of the year. A happy ending, as they say. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> He keeps trying, folks. <laughs> uh, Happy ending with Big Daddy. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> there we go. it all together. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, some good news. You know, there has been a lot of um, issues out here in our area with all the fires that we had a month ago uh, in Ventura and Santa Barbara and L.A. counties, and then subsequently the rains that just caused a bunch of mudslides, especially in Santa Barbara. No, oh, yeah. Living in turn stuff and and how uh, how fucked up the land has been and, and some people have kind of had their like entire lives. Well, I mean, some people have died even. So yeah, it's kidding. been a pretty sh- shitty uh, situation. The nice thing is Stone is doing their part and they are going to be donating a lot of proceeds to the relief efforts and everything around that. Um, and not just Stone the brewery, but Stone Distribution. So these brands. Uh, Julian Hard Cider, Kern River Brewing Company, McKellar, San Diego, Victory Brewing Company, and Smog City Brewing Company are all donating money, as well as Stone Brewing will donate a dollar of every pint or growler fill of Stone IPA at all of its Stone uh, locations to this fundraising effort. Wow, oh, cool. That's nice. Yeah, so it's very cool. You know, Stone was a big part of raising money for the NorCal fires that happened right. earlier in 2017. And they joined up with like Russian River and those guys and donated a lot of money and now they're stepping up down here. So it's uh, it's very nice. It's yeah, very it cool is. thing that Stone's yeah. doing. I think I bought a few houses already. Did you? Yeah, I, and I didn't even know about the the uh, thing. So <laughs> <laughs> been helping people get back on now their, that I know on their feet. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right on. Yes, uh, and then finally our last bit of booze news. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a huge Food Fighters nerd. So Foo Fighters are doing a, a tour right now, and they're just about to hit Australia. And the Australian brewery Hen- Young Henry's has released a Foo Fighters beer. It's called Foo Town, and it's a lager. Uh, unfortunately, you can only get it in Australia. 
<laughs> oh shit! But I've been like tweeting people and such, like, "Hey, if you can get that food town, I'd like you to send it up to the states." That would be great. So far, it hasn't worked yet. So but, far, uh, yeah, working on it. We'll keep trying. Yeah, yeah. Love me some food fighters. <laughs> so, uh, if anybody listening down in Australia can get your hands on some food town lager, yeah, okay, we would happily trade you some of our delicious uh, stuff up here. Yep. Yes, we have a lot of delicious stuff to trade yeah we get in in fact we could help you uh, save some people's houses while we trade absolutely it. yeah It'd be a win-win for everybody <laughs> that's right so anyways uh that's all the news yeah, i guess <laughs> <laughs> it's always at like the right like at the buzzer dude like, right. <laughs> every single time <laughs> i forget about it and then it happens uh, <laughs> oh man half the time i have to look down at the word <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what did he say? It's oh, insane. Yeah, yeah what, is, what is, did, did he, he just have a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, not today. <laughs> oh, no, no. oh, don't you? He used to have one stroke a day. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, and Juicy. not that kind of stroke. Oh god. No. Oh, old geez. people stroke. Oh, yeah, old where, okay, good. Where you lose like brain cells and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows for sure. <laughs> uh, all right, we will uh, get the fuck about it. Still able to drink? Clearly. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll work on the English. <laughs> The what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you all for listening if you've stuck through it this far. Uh, make sure you find us at theunfilteredgentleman.com. Theunfilteredgentleman.com slash listen. Woo, even me is where you can uh, tell your friends to no go. No stroke. And, yeah, and how they can find uh, how to listen on no matter what format they want. Uh, next week, we got a good show for you. We have, uh, I've been told, been told, Dale has something for us. Oh, Ooh. yes. Nice. Nice. nice to hear from her. It would be nice to hear from her. So we'll see if that's true. we got some really good beers to drink next week. And uh, Tales from Uber, I think, is uh, in the works. And oh, some cool. booze news. So uh, hang around for next week's show as well. Uh, but in the meantime, make sure you hit us up on the social medias, the Unfiltered Gentleman and at Unfiltered Gents on Twitter. Make sure you're drunk dialing us. We need some drunk come dials. On. Yes, come on. 805-538-BEER. It's 2337 we want your drunk dollars. Look, just, just call and, and tell us how sloppy you are. That's right. That's all we need. Maybe you will be at uh, the Scottish Day at McLeod's oh, this yeah. week on Thursday. Up. Yeah, there hit us go. up. Yep. Maybe you find me and we could drunk dial us together. There, oh, there we you go. go. Uh, it'd be yeah. very meta, me yeah. drunk dialing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> so uh, 805-538-BEER and uh, all the social medias, all that good stuff. So get a hold of us. Tell friends everything. Find us next week. Stay hydrated. Absolutely. And on that note, good night, everybody. 